Hello people! In this video I will show you how to speedrun the file crypt, which is a rather unique area in that one where you have to find the right crypt out of three possible options. Unfortunately you can't see which crypt is the right one from outside here in the cemetery, uh, but there are two different methods you can use once you enter a crypt. Uh, the first method is about listening to the background sounds in the crypts, um, as they differ a bit. And to me it sounds like the wrong crypts have some sort of rumbling or humming, um, which is not present in the right crypt. So for this to work, you first need to make sure that inside your sound settings you have ambient volume completely maxed. And if you're like me and prefer to play this game with the background music on, I also recommend that you add a key binding for turning off music. Right here. Um, also, if you have a headset, I recommend that you use that, uh, as it makes it a bit easier to hear the difference uh, in the grips. Before I show the method in action, I will first play some examples so you have a better idea of what is going on. So stay a while and listen. Alright, so now I will go into all three crypts and try to guess which one is the right one. Uh, there's one more tip before I do, and that is if you have a lot of other noise, uh, you can try to pause the game um, because the ambient sounds will remain, but all the other sounds will be muted. I generally prefer not to do this uh, because it's a couple of extra key presses, but if you find it easier, then try it out. Um, so, now let me just turn off the music and turn up the volume. And let's see. Okay. So let me turn the volume down a bit again. So I believe that the first crypt is the right one, uh, but I'll wait a bit with that and use uh, the other two instead to explain the second method where you have to pay attention to the map. Uh, there's another way to identify a wrong crypt, which is to take a uh, look for uh, four different map patterns. Um, since it can be quite difficult to hear the sound difference in the crypts, knowing the map tiles and patterns is a really good backup method uh, for finding the right crypt. Um, the patterns you should look out for are either specific map tiles, which will only appear in the wrong crypts. Uh, there are events or event tiles. Uh, there are also special freeway tiles with the dead end. Um, and there's also a lack of freeway or four-way tiles. And the reason the last two patterns show that you are in the wrong crypt is that the right crypt will always have at least two freeway or four-way tiles. So if you can't find uh, such a tile or if it has a dead end attached, then you know you're in the wrong crypt. So, let's continue and see which of these patterns I'll get. Alright, so this was actually quite unfortunate. Um, because I found this freeway tile way too late in the crypt for me to actually use this method properly here. Um, but you can see on the map that this right here is a freeway tile. And it has a dead end attached. But unfortunately the other dead end um, shows the back way to the cemetery. So let's try the other wrong route instead. Which I believe is this one. And this right here is actually one of the wrong tiles or one of the map tiles that can only appear in the wrong crypt. Um, and this is a way better luck uh, because you can see it's quite close to the entrance. So if I had failed to uh, hear the sound cue properly, I would find this tile immediately and then just know to head straight back to the entrance. I also believe that this is the trip of the event. Yeah, and you can see it right here. So if I had failed to recognize the map tile, I would still be able to get this far into the crypt and see there's an event and then know that I should return back. So let's go for the right trip now. Yeah. Um, 
There's one thing that's worth mentioning before we uh, dive into it, and uh, that is that even though the map in all three groups are randomly generated, the tiles in the right group will always form a loop. Um, so that means that the first three-way or four-way tile you see is the start of this loop. And your goal in here is basically to find the beginning of the loop, get into the loop, and then get out of the loop again, which looks like this. So right here is a four-way tile, which is good. Let me just clear out some enemies to get some peace. Um, so right now there are three possible options for me to take. Um, the tricky thing about four-way tiles is that I can't actually see where the loop is right now. So I imagine that it's either going like this or it's going like this. Which is why I very rarely take the second way out of a four-way tile. Um, it's also possible that one of these uh, ends is a dead end. But I won't know until I investigate further. So let's try this one. And this was a dead end. So that actually means that right now, I know that the loop is right here. So let's try to continue. Alright. And this right here is a freeway tile. So you can see right now that I know that there's always a loop in the right crib. And there's really only one option to get this loop. And that would be to get back up this way. So when I traverse the map, I can see now that I'm at a, another freeway tile. So the only right direction for me to check now is downwards. And you can see the exit is right here. Sometimes you can also be really unlucky that this would be a dead end and then there would be another freeway tile hiding up here uh, with the exit. But it's always correct to first uh, check that this is not the exit before you continue through with the loop. And just to see how the map exactly looks like, let's go back. All the way to the beginning. And there we go. There's the loop, entrance and exit. And that's basically it. So if you're interested in learning more about all the map tiles uh, to look out for, both when it comes to the right and the wrong crypts, I recommend that you check out my map guide on speedrot.com uh, and you can also find a link to that in the video description. So I hope you found this video useful and uh, good luck with your runs!